what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here over the weekend warwick davis had exposed or revealed his reason as to why he hadn't returned to the upcoming leprechaun returns which is set to air i think next week sometime one of the days next week on the sci-fi network we're not on the sci-fi network it's coming to digital first and then it's going to air on the sci-fi network next march uh the film is going to be a direct sequel to the first film from 1993 which starred jennifer aniston uh, this movie is erasing Leprechauns 2, 3, In Space, In the Hood, uh, Back to the Hood, and the one that WWE did back in 2014. Now, with the news of what came out, or what Warwick Davis had exposed to it, uh, I think he, he exposed this to Bang Studios, or Bang Bang Showbiz. Uh, I, read, I wrote an article about the, about the issue, or about his revelation, and I had it published. Uh, basically, what he ended up saying is that He's not doing any more horror films because he wants to focus on his family and that's kind of why he had that's why he won't be appearing in any future leprechaun movies that's why he isn't involved in his upcoming project uh he wants to he says that like when you have kids you see things differently through their eyes and he just doesn't feel it's right to participate in films like that when he when he wants to come home to a loving family in the end of the day he doesn't think that that's something he wants his kids to be exposed i i i the way i see this i don't think he wants his kids to necessarily be exposed to some of the films he did in the past so like the leprechaun films i'm sure he'll want his kids to watch them when they get older to appreciate what their father created uh for so many for so many uh fans such as myself in the horror genre that love the leprechaun series despite the fact that this series is bad uh object not like bad in the sense i don't enjoy it, but like if i'm going to tell you a recommendation on what a good or bad movie is or something that's just fun to look at this is like a fun bad movie to look at because the movies the movies are ridiculous pretty much all of them are ridiculous and the trailer for leprechaun returns came out and this looks just as ridiculous as the previous installment so i hope i end up liking this one a lot more than the one that wwe did because the one that wwe did they didn't even have it it didn't have anything to do with any of the previous installments uh, i think warwick davis actually even stated that he tried to become a part of that uh but they ended up just going with their with their veteran and company horn squabble aka dylan postal he ended up playing the leprechaun and that creature looks nothing like a leprechaun whatsoever in the film but in the trailer for leprechaun returns we get to see the return of mark holton as ozzy ozzy is the only returning character that's participating in this film uh the rest of the movie is going to be centered on the leprechaun targeting a sorority house in search of his pot of gold yet again taking up the role as leprechaun i believe is lyndon porco lyndon porco based on what we see in the trailer he seems to have in, uh, embodied the overall essence of what warwick davis brought to the game when he portrayed the leprechaun in the first six films uh I'm interested to see what he can do because I he looks like he's doing his best to try to be just like Warwick Davis and I respect that for him trying to at least fill the gap the best he can since he knows that this is something that the fans want Warwick. I feel like the way he comes off in the trailers or in the teaser that was released it seems that he knows fans want to see Warwick so he's going to try to do the best he can to give them that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing his performance as the Leprechaun. Now a major spoiler is going to be talked about right now in this video uh one of the images no one else has talked about this one of the images shows the leprechaun and one of his victims it looks like he's torn one of his victims up if you look at the clothing you can easily tell who that person is it looks like the leprechaun is going to finally kill ozzy so after 20 so 25 years later after failing to kill him all those years prior the leprechaun is now going to kill ozzy and it also seems that one of the characters in the movie is going to be the daughter of Jennifer Aniston's character from the first film. Now, I don't really care that Ozzy is going to die in the movie. Um, I'm just ready to see another Leprechaun movie. I want to see how ridiculous it is. I'm going to tell you how bad it is too. Um, if there's, I'm expecting something funny, some a lot of hilarious moments to go in, and I'm expecting bad editing. I'm expecting cheesy acting. I'm expecting, like, just I'm expecting the worst of the worst. And I. I don't know why, but for some reason, it, I think it's because I saw these at a young age. These films are just stuck with me as just like funny films to watch. I don't take them seriously at all, nor should you. Uh, they're just horror comedies. They're just cheesy, like B B minus horror movies. That's all they are. Um, but yeah, Warwick Davis ex explained why he won't be returning. It's because he wants to he wants to focus on his family and his children. 
But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe or turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies or news you would like me to review or cover in the future. Uh, I'll also have a description to the article that I wrote down in the bio. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.